has the capability of probably hitting a leaf area index of five or higher if moisture is right no bugs eating on it and that tells me that it's got a yield potential in the range of 50 to 55 bushels per acre this is running three and a half to four leaf area index so your number is on the low side 35 to 40 bushel potential in this field now it is variable there's areas that will probably be over 50 and on the other side over here it's probably likely around 22 <laughs> And that's the kind of variability we see. Look at your yield maps on any field. Uh, it's that huge variability across the landscape. So what we have to do as agronomists is make sure we have an optimum plant density for canola. Canola is the most flexible plant you're ever going to grow because you can have a very low plant density. And look what happens when you got a very low plant density. You got a huge amount of branching. The plant takes advantage of that open space. So for this area, I like to be in the range of six, seven plants per square foot on average with a good hybrid variety uh, because that's telling me we're going to be able to achieve a, a very high leaf area index early, which is very critical because if you don't have that large leaf area index at elongation, you haven't got a chance of hitting the three and a half to four that we're seeing there right now. At the start of flower, you have no more leaves. Yeah, it's the end of leaf production. What happens in a year like last year, and even a bit this year, Phil, where you take it was really weak and it started to flower, but then we had a real moderate summer. Yeah, and all that secondary branching. Yep, it all has leaves on it, right? Yep. So are you actually generating leaf area index throughout the growing season? Yeah, you are. Like I don't want to see the bottom leaves ever disappear. Everyone figures that's normal. Take a look in there. The bottom leaves are turning color. That shouldn't happen. That shouldn't happen until the plant starts to ripen. Uh, everyone assumes that's natural, but what, what we're doing is we've run out of something. Either moisture or we're having translocation of the mobile nutrient nitrogen from the bottom leaves to the growing points. And because that plant says, I want to make seed, so that's it pulling the nitrogen yeah. out of those bottom leaves. Yeah. So you're running out of a little N right now, I think. On this soil, it's understandable too. Yes, yeah. on this sandy la yeah. land here. But you know, uh, one simple thing that you everyone seems to forget, and everyone's saying, I put in six pounds an acre, and somebody else says, I put in four pounds, I put in three pounds. I did all kinds of trials and trials and trials. It depends on the soil you got. You know, you know there's the only English problem, how oh, the answer lies in the soil. Some soils will give you 80%, 90% stand establishment. Some soils will give you 50. And if you go up the Peace River region of 20. Alberta, you'll be lucky to get 20 or 30. In other words, this is why they put in higher rates. So when somebody tells you this is the rate to apply, know the fields you're putting the canola in. Because some fields are just plain, miserable, heavy, cappy, clay soil. And you're lucky if you put six pounds in to get a two pound establishment. Of course, we don't use pounds anymore, do we? We no, use thousand pounds. kernel weight. Kernel who? <laughs> <laughs> and and uh, important factor is there is coming up with the mortality level, which yep. is what they were talking about. And coming what's, up what's nice with the program that Agritrend has is we have a track record on what percent mortality happens, seed and seedling mortality. Usually we just generalize and say it's going to be 50% of the seed you put in the ground isn't going to make plants. They're all killed off by diseased yeah. organisms. I do, I, I do bioassays and uh, some soils only 10% of these of the wheat, barley, oats will come up. Then other soils, you know, if you use a perfect soil, 100%. So when you get the germination thing, it doesn't mean that's what's gonna come up. They say, oh, 100% germination, 99% germination. Put it in a, a piece <coughs> of a soil and you're happy with 30% establishment. Yeah. What's your mortality with your client? Oh, it varies so much. Yeah, it really does. Depending on so many factors, the tillage equipment, seed size, how fast they seed soils. The drill is a really important placement. factor. Yeah. Seed to soil contact. Mm -hmm. Every year when we go across Western Canada, we stop and look at a huge number of fields. And the amount of mechanical damage out there is huge, guys. It's huge. 15% of the fields, of canola fields, Doug Penny and I walked in last year, had mechanical issues. Either too deep, 
or too high a speed of operation where they were getting mixing of the fertilizer with the seed and then of course what's going to come up? Not very darn much.